A wonderful day to you kids. This is your science 6 teacher, Miss Jocelyn F. Mendoza. I will go along with you as we study a topic from the most essential learning competency, compare the planets of the solar system, and construct a model of the solar system showing the relative sizes of the planets and their relative distances from the sun. Now, I want you to prepare your activity sheet, paper, and ball pen before we start our lesson. Last time, you have learned about the rotation and revolution of the Earth. Can, can you still remember? I'm glad you still do. Rotation is the spinning of the Earth on its axis, while revolution happens when it goes around the Sun. The Earth's rotation results to the day and night, rising and setting the sun, moon and stars, and the Coriolis effect. The revolution of the Earth results into the four seasons experienced in areas 30 degrees latitude in the northern and southern hemisphere. Very good! You have recalled our past lesson. Now, we can move to our lesson for the day. Later on, you will have another activity, so listen very well. I am sure you can easily answer the activities as long as you focus on our lesson. Our lesson today is about the planets of the solar system. Would you like to step on Jupiter someday? That seems to be very exciting. Unfortunately, we cannot do that because it is a ball of gas. We will discover more about the planets in this lesson. Let us now study the different planets. The planets are grouped according to their physical properties. The first four planets are called the terrestrial planets because they have a rocky surface, small, high density, and near the Sun. These are the Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The second group are the Jovian planets. From the word Jovian, it means these are large, gaseous, and low density. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune belong to this group. Let us now talk about the four inner planets. First is Mercury. It is named after the messenger of gods. This planet is nearest to the sun. It has a very thin atmosphere. Its surface has many craters caused by large meteorites that hit its surface. It reaches a temperature of 430 degrees Celsius at daytime and 180 degrees Celsius at nighttime. It has no moon and ring around it. The second planet is Venus. It is named after the goddess of love. It is considered as Earth's twin planet because they have almost the same size and density. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. It is a rocky planet with mountains, craters, and volcanoes. It looks yellowish from afar because of sulfur in its atmosphere. It reaches a temperature of 470 degrees Celsius. It is the brightest object in the sky next to the moon. That is why it is also called the evening star. It has no moon and ring around it. Next is our very own Earth. It is known as the blue planet, the only planet in solar system that can sustain life. It has atmosphere with ozone layer that prevents the sun's ultraviolet rays from reaching the Earth. Its main component is nitrogen, that is 77%, oxygen, 21%, and traces of argon, carbon dioxide, and water. One third of Earth's surface is land, and two thirds is water. 
it has one moon and no ring around it. And the fourth planet is Mars. It is named after the god of war. It is known as the red planet because of the presence of iron on its surface. It has rocky surface and known for its volcanoes. Olympus Mons, Mars' largest volcano, and even the solar system is three times higher than Mount Everest. It has summer and winter seasons. It has thin atmosphere. It has two moons and no ring around it. Now we will talk about the Jovian planets. First is Jupiter, named after the king of gods, god of lightning. It is the biggest planet in the solar system. Gas giant of liquid and gas parts made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has a huge storm in its atmosphere called the Great Red Spot, which is even bigger than the Earth. Its four moons were discovered by Galileo. One of them is Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon. It has 50 moons, and over 17 moons recently discovered and being confirmed, and thin ring around it. Next is Saturn. It is named after the god of agriculture. It is the sixth planet and farthest planet visible to the naked eye. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Among the planets, it has the lowest density. If it will be placed on large ocean, it will float. It is a cold planet, which is negative 240 degrees Celsius on top of Saturn's clouds. It is famous for its beautiful rings made of ice and rocks. It has 53 moons and an additional of 9 moons presently discovered and being confirmed and thin ring around it. Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, and second largest in the entire solar system. Next is Uranus. It is named after the god of sky. It is the first planet discovered using telescope. It is known as ice giant, made up of frozen water, methane, and ammonia. It has blue-green color due to the presence of methane gas. It has four seasons. It has 11 rings and has 27 moons, with Titania as its largest. Lastly is Neptune. It is named after the god of the sea. It is the twin planet of Uranus because they have almost same size, mass, and density. It is a gas giant. It is believed to have thick layers of clouds and a core of rocks and ice similar to Uranus. It has blue-green color due to the presence of methane gas. It has winds that reach the speed of 2,400 km per hour. It has dark spots that are giant storms that disturb its surface. It has 13 moons and six dark rings. Now, we will discuss a planet that was reclassified as dwarf planet, that is Pluto. Pluto is named after the god of the underworld. It was reclassified as dwarf planet because it didn't meet the following criterion. First, a planet should have dominant gravitational body, and second, it should be the most massive object in its orbit in the solar system. There are still many other objects with size and mass similar to Pluto's. Did you understand our lesson about the planets? Very good! So now let's move on to the activity. Prepare your learning activity sheet and ball pen. For your written test, 
Let us read the direction. Identify the planet described in each sentence. Select from the choices in the box. Write the word on the blank. The choices are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet Pluto. Number 1. It is the largest among the eight planets. Number 2. It is the only planet known to support life. Number 3. It is a gas giant and twin planet of Uranus. Number 4. The planet where you can find the largest volcano in the solar system. Number 5. It is the hottest planet due to its atmosphere, which is made up of carbon dioxide and methane. Number 6. It is the dwarf planet which was named after the god of the underworld. Number 7. It is the nearest planet to the sun. Number 8. It is an ice giant and has four seasons. Number 9. The planet with the lowest density and can actually float on water. And number 10. It has the great spot which is a storm believed to have been there for hundreds of years. For your performance task, draw a model of the solar system. Do it on a blank space in your learning activity sheet. You can actually do it during your free time at home. I am hoping that all your answers are correct. If not, it will be just fine as long as you try your best in our activity next time. It is so nice to be with you today all throughout our discussion. I hope that you understood everything we have discussed. Keep your activity sheets and make sure that you will send it to me when your parents or guardian return it to school. Once again, this is your Science 6 teacher, Ms. Jocelyn F. Mendoza. Always remember, Science can make the impossible possible. Till next time kids, God bless and stay safe at home.